Okay, we got it. We got it. It's so- That's so dumb! We got it. We got it. We here. We up. We out. We out. Dropping? That's a good question. I'm gonna go back to full screen. I like full screen. I, got, no. I, I have to like do a stupid like. It's always with the Hoyo games where I have to do like a really like. It's really specific where I have to do run as administrator for both. Streamlabs and the game. And it's only the it's only it's only Hoyo games. I haven't done a Hoyo I haven't streamed a Hoyo game in a long time, so that's why we are not here. I'm at him. We're we're here. It's fine. How are you, Alex? Um Is the game quiet? The game might be quiet. I got 50. W? Correct. That is correct. Tired? Feeling good? How about you? I'm in pain, but we're we're going we're going through it. <sighs> we going we going through it. It's fine though. Pain? Um <laughs> Keep the moment. Girly pain. Does that? <laughs> <Don't>... <laughs> um. Yeah. I see one. that time. <laughs> Shut me up. Yeah. Um. But we're here. I've been wanting to stream Star Star Real for a while. But then also there's a new event where you can get some good old stuff if you stream it. So we're doing that. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna... I need to see those numbers. <laughs> I'm also doing a quest because... Quests are pretty. I don't know. I need to stream the quest, so. And I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. But did you think about playing this game? Turn-based combat interests me, but like I don't want to explore some. It you actually don't explore that much. Want Twitch ad song, please? Thank you. Right now, I'm doing something that's not really Abyss equivalent to Genshin, but it's sort of like Abyss. Um, I really don't know where to put my character on my YouTuber, so we're blocking some stuff. I don't think about it, but man, too many. No, 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 no. That is completely fine. I'm not. <laughs> I don't even know if I have drops. I might have drops down. I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe Kitsune has this game, so maybe Kitsune will see like a drop thing. I don't know. Also, how is the game audio and my audio okay? Is one louder than the other that needs fixing? I'm on guard. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> okay, good. I keep getting I keep getting healing stuff. I don't want healing stuff. It's, I have a bad feeling about this run. It's not gonna be good. I keep getting heals and I need to get like DPS Welcome, customers. stuff. That's okay. <laughs> I'm 
wondering if I should start streaming Honkai Star Rail more. Because I am preferring Star Rail over Genshin because they, uh, okay, MiHoYo seems to care a lot more about uh, Honkai over, over Genshin. Wow, I am not getting anything. Genshin is kind of the opposite of hard. And unless you're doing like Abyss or something, then that's like it. It's you would need some insane builds or like insane money luck with them rolls and shit. Will of preservation. A little something for everyone. Mega heart, yeah. This one's this is way funner than Abyss. And I'm also gonna do some story stuff that I wanna get over with. And of an event in the game ends in tonight, so I'm gonna also do that. A three star blessing? Yeah, sure. Um, oh good. Ready when you are. Let's fight this bastard. <laughs> Alright. See if I, I'm not even that good at this game. But we'll see. I'm so used to doing this. You can't you can't even see the how much power I do. You can barely see the numbers on the top right. That's fine. Unless I move chat. This is a very awkward place to have chat. No, we'll keep it here. Yeah! A thousand wonders to rage and fight I don't know, I'm kind of excited to see the home guy. Hopefully it goes well. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. So there's a speed up up here, you get speed up, you get auto, and then the pause button, which shows the current blessings I have, which is in this mode. A lot faster on here, let me show you what non-fast mode is. I'm so used to it being fast. That is very good, yeah. Lance the blaze. Flaming lance. Power. <laughs> More enemies. Time for a buzz. <laughs> I'm so not used to it. Let me test this your combat way. needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow. She's so right, it's so slow. 24th K. And then heal. Oh my god, it just feels like slow mode. Okay, now we're doing fast again. Can I have fun this thousand wonders to fight as <laughs> this combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. I'm on fire. <laughs>
sliver away. These are so shit. Ah, I'm not getting the the stuff I need. Okay, I might have to. I might have to reset. I'm not getting the RNG. It is not. I mean, I'm not getting good RNG. It's fine. Boss matter in this one? Yeah. I heard a. Give me what I want. Ah, none. Thank you. I need the. I need this symbol. And I've not been getting any. Um, you don't use food in this version. Or in this uh mode. There is a there is a mode that is pretty much the astral astral that is pretty much just the uh abyss but this is Will of preservation. A little something for everyone. this one's a bit different Keep the moment. so if you know what hades is like you get the gods like blessing and i just got that i'm gonna use it there's a lot of damage <laughs> Fun this yeah, this is a really good mode, and there's like different worlds, and this is the latest world, World 7, but it has like the best rewards, so that I've just been spamming this one. <laughs> Me too, I still haven't beaten Hades because I'm bad at it. Maybe I'll stream it. There's other games I want to stream, but I'm trying to get that variety stream kind of shit going. I don't know. You took the bait. Time for a bug. I'm on guard. The thing, the thing is with this game is I really need to like build a lot of characters. He's amazing. Correct. Damn it! All allies split incoming damage. The characters' HP is below. Characters hit by an attack does quake based on the current shield. Uh, I guess split damage is the best one here. Okay, thank you. I got a two star buff I want, so I'll take that. I also am like very picky, so I don't use like my ults at all until it's like a special ult, uh, like it's a boss or something. Because this one isn't time based, turn based. That sounds funny, but the other mode that's like uh, Abyss is turn based, so that's when you want to use these, but I'm just saving up my uh, ults. Are they called bursts in this game? I don't know. I always call them ults no matter what. I agree. You just gotta beat the, the final boss and then you're done. Which I do like. I much prefer- I- I love this combat, so I definitely prefer this over Genshin. Honkai Impact, it's a mixed bag for me. A lot of the events I don't like. So I kinda just like- Can I have fun this time? Uh, <laughs> With Honkai Impact 3rd, there's a... Welcome, customers. There's a Promare uh, collab. Which is... Promare is one of my favorite, like... Uh, studio Trigger... Uh, creations. Um, so they collab with it, and it's like two outfits. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> so it's like one's like twenty dollars and one's like thirty dollars, and I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, we'll do combat. 
But yeah, there's just like, what the? Studio Trigger, yeah. They had a collab with them, which is, I believe, their third, uh, Honkai Impact third collab. I think they third. Haha, <laughs> get it third. Um, one was with, um, Neon Genesis, which of course makes sense because that's what Honkai Impact third is kind of based off of. And then, then it was Genshin, where you got Fischl for free and you got other stuff. Did you get her for free? I don't remember. Um, and then right now is the Studio Trigger event, which even then it's like, I don't think they did as much this time around as they did with the other two. Which, I mean, okay. They are making a Honkai Impact 3rd sequel, I believe, so they're probably just doing that, so they're very much like... Not doing a whole bunch. Like, a lot of people dropped Honkai Impact 3rd when it finished. Like, they're still doing stuff with the game, it's just like, mm, not a lot. Keep the moments. Yeah. <laughs> More enemies. It's kind of dead, in, uh, from what I'm seeing online. Oh, wow, now you give me all three and I can only pick one. Okay, thanks game. Oh shit. Okay, now we're at the elite boss. Ready when you are. Um this should work. Oh yeah, and you also hold on. In this you have techniques. You can see right here, you have five, I have five total, well, two in the tank right now. Sometimes, uh, it depends on the character, you get a defense up if you use it, uh, HP restore. Hers, it just, uh, boosts her, like, charge for her ult, but her ult is, like, full right now. And then sometimes, if it doesn't say anything, it means they can attack from a range. So that's why I like Silver Wolf, because she attacks from range, and if she does that, I missed it! There we go. And it said weakness, so I broke the weakness. And then that happened, so like things from the I sky. That was funny, I can't believe that missed. That hit its leg and it still missed. So this is a boss. Not the main boss yet, we have gotten there. This is gonna be a while. I can feel this one's gonna be really hard. This is the max difficulty for this stage too, so it's just gonna be like I have not gotten a lot of good uh, buffs. More enemies. I'm a little nervous. I don't think I'm gonna even I don't I feel like I'm gonna die on this boss, I'm not gonna lie. I know I can't use silver wool. And she's dead. But she can heal dead enemy. I need a heal. The thing is with her is that her her thing is uh Mm-hmm. She's an RNG healer. <laughs> Good, yep, we're done. Lance Get what I wanted. Yeah, see, she just mainly healed her, which is like fine, I guess. I should have bolted. There we go. All right, a 
let's see how many points I got for that. Three thousand. And so this end, this is uh, this is weekly. You get free shit weekly. And so I just need fourteen thousand before five hours. So I'll do this again during the stream. Um, right now we're gonna probably do something else. Um, uh, she sells good shit. I, uh, here, I'll give you the base. I'll give you, I'll give you some shit. Some stuff. Here's the character. Here's the main character. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna shrink a little old me down. I'm gonna just be right here. So, this is the main character. This is the girl main character. I gave her her canonical name, uh, Stell. Where the flip is my chat box? I will move chat. Um. We'll move chat right here, I guess. I don't know. I just. I, I, always, I always go with their, like, canonical names. So, Lumine and Stell. Um. I have a heat pad on my back and now I'm hot. Okay. 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 My this is her crit stuff, uh, thirty and one fifty six. I made her a DPS to some extent. Even though she's preservation, which means shield stuff. So preservation so there's different types of things. So Preservation possesses powerful defensive abilities to protect allies in various ways. Destruction deals out. Why she need crit then? Wait, I made her a crit. I made her a DPS in instead of like the like defensive character. I change. I want her to be something else. She's gonna be something else. So I didn't build her the way she's like supposed to be built. I guess this this girl does this girly does damage. <laughs> I make her do damage. Then you get the destruction type of character that deals outstanding amounts of damage and possesses great survivability suitable for various combat scenarios. The hunt, which is what I was getting for before. Uh, they're like the main DPS kind of character. Deals extraordinary amounts of single target damage, but so they don't do like multiple character or multiple targets. They only really do like one boss or something like one character, one enemy, I mean. Main damage dealer against elite enemies. Erudition does multiple targets, so they're pretty much the same as the hunt, but they just do, like, AoE damage, so they hit multiple people. Enemies. Harmony is a support. They offer buffs to allies to improve the team's combat capacities, which is what the Fox Lady was in my team. Uh, Niality, which is what Silver Wolf was, the gamer girl. <laughs> She applies debuffs to enemies and reduces their combat capacities. Abundance is just a healer. And so, Silver Wolf, I still want to build her properly. Because uh, I want her crit to be... I mean, her crits are actually okay. Um, so she debuffs. This is... Light cones are the equivalent to weapons. And so I have her... This was an event, so I got her event one. And she's like a, in a, doing a crane machine. I like it. Um, yeah, this is an event, which is, like, pretty much better. Uh, health- yeah. It's- yeah. She has the highest speed, I think, in my characters. Relics are- haha, <laughs> artifacts, they brought that back. Adolins- Adolins are constellations. And then, you know, all that. Now- there are types, combat types. Quantum, physical, fire, ice, lightning, and wind, and imaginary. So I guess you can think of Genshin with, like, their a weapon type and their vision. No, yeah, it's really bad. Um, so just take combat types and paths, similar to weapon types and visions. So combat types are like the visions, obviously. Uh, all of these are from Honkai Impact, except Wind, I believe. 
Everything else is from Honkai, but they brought Animo from Genshin over. Mm -hmm. The server's still not open. And, yeah. And Stell is like we mean, where she can change her type path to destruction. She has a destruction physical typing or pres preservation fire, which I believe this one's way better. And I have a lot of characters. I don't have every single one. I'm not like my Gen This is not like my Genshin. Okay, I can't say that because I have every character except like the standard characters. I'm missing three standard characters. <laughs> I have every other character. I do have Kafka. I do have Miss Missy herself. My recent character, uh, I got this, this, I got bro yesterday, actually. I was hanging out with CK when I pulled him. I got beautiful bro. <laughs> quite, quite ha pleased. He is insane if you, like, have his good shit. Like, a lot of the, like, new characters are crazy. And I, I lost the 50-50 to him, but I don't care because I love well. Because he's also from Hunkai Impact Third, so I could care less about losing. I'm missing Himiko from the standard banner. Uh, Clara. Uh, Branya, who's probably the best standard character. Because she's like the. She's probably still like the best buff support character in the entire game still. So I am planning on getting her. Because the scheme is nice. Uh, Alex, if you go to the standard banner, additional rewards. Once you have made 300 pulls, you can pick one of these guys. And so I would be, I am definitely picking Branya. <laughs> definitely picking Branya out of, from, out of Clara and Himiko. I mean, I could get any of the other guys, but I am definitely getting Branya. It was either Branya or Welt, but uh, since I got him, I have I did get Branya's. I mean, sorry, I did get Himiko's weapon light cone. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call them light cones. I did get her light cone though from the standard. Very pretty, but sadly Himiko is very weak. So we can do we can do the trials right now. I don't mind showing. We each have their own trial. You can- I know. Uh, Himiko is sadly weak. Um, here, I'll show you. I'll just put me over here. Buff her, please. Uh, I mean, probably with her Eidolons. Constellations, whatever you want to call it. After breaking an enemy's weakness, this character can deliver follow-up attacks against all enemies. This character's technique can increase fire damage received by enemies. And so her ease and pairing, she's very pretty. I think she looks much prettier than in her Honkai Impact uh, d uh, counterpart. She's got a pizza cutter. Burn away. This game is very pretty. Also, the thing is, the nice thing is, there is no type chart. It just depends on what the enemy has for weakness, and you just need that. And then this is just explaining everything about her type, about her shit. You won't get away. This is her follow-up attack, this is her follow-up attack. I have something for you. And so her single target, you know, obviously, but this one does multiple characters. So we're gonna do that. And 23, that's still pretty good. Yeah, this trial, uh, she, they did, they really did her really well. So they did give her her signature weapon in her trial. 
She has her signature weapon. I keep. I'm, I'm just gonna be talking Genshin tactic, uh, Genshin here, and then hers. So they are all built very nicely. So that's why they're doing very well. Also, Himiko and Herta are also very good together because they both, they're both of their follow-up attacks are very good. It won't be so easy next time. Also, her ult, I'm beautiful. Perhaps you still don't understand. We're gonna do the slow motion one. She's very nice. I don't mind if I get Himiko. Clara is the only other character I don't have. I mean, I, I mean, Branya as well, but, um, I, she has a fucking hot robot daddy. I love him. <laughs> uh, it's such an odd thing to say, but she literally has like a robot dad and oh my God, I love him. His name is Mr. Sfarog and he's very, <laughs> uh, there is an idol animation. Is that good to pick her out over as my line? Um, I mean, seeing that I have the other good characters, it really depends on what you need. If you have no good support, then probably pick her. But if you have a good support, pick another person. Clara is a destruction physical. Uh, like uh, your first like Stell and uh, Kalis, which is the guy. Sorry, I want her to do the fucking. I want her to do the idol. There it is. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, sixty-one and eighty-two, and then this is her light cone. It's him. It's him holding her up in the snow. It's so cute. Clara is very sweet. I love her. I believe she- I don't actually remember what kind of, like, character she is, but this is, uh, or, like, uh, you know, attacking kind of stuff. March 7th is a free character. I love her a lot. And then Ting Yoon, I have. She's, uh, she's interesting. Also, this is her. He attacks for her! And then that's her. Love it. All right, bastard. <laughs> Did they run out of names? If you play the game, uh, you'll know why. She has a st no. It's her dad. <laughs> so it steals minor minor physical damage to a single enemy. Deals physical damage to all additional uh, physical with marks of counter. Reduce- okay, so the ultimate reduces damage received, increases chances to be attacked by enemies, and enhances counter. Okay. Her talent, uh, damage received from enemies is reduced. Enemies who attack Clara will be marked with a mark of counter and met with Sparag's counter dealing physical. And the technique I just used attacks the enemy. After entering battle, this character's chance of being attacked by the enemies increases. March is, uh, as you see, March just did that. So whenever March ha has, like, a little counter here. So when whoever she gives a shield to, um, if they get attacked, she does, uh, a follow-up. Time to do something. I didn't even get to ult last time. 
All right, and Branya. Love her. Allows a single ally to immediately take action, and so like immediately speeds up their uh you know speed in their turn increases their damage increase attack and crit damage to all allies and dispels a debuff from a single ally so she is incredible <laughs> love her Branya is an amazing character i like her Beautiful. She has a lot of crit damage and <laughs> not a lot of crit rate, which is awesome. It's funny. Show your courage. Show your courage. Uh, Natasha is. Branya isn't. Uh, Branya is a support buffer. Show your courage. Oh, I aimed the wrong way. But she has a sniper rifle. This battle is unavoidable. The time is now. Lend me your strength. Naughty child. Naughty. Really has a grenade launcher. No interesting conflict. <laughs> Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Don't tell me I need to build weapons again. That's their light cones, so kinda. Um, we'll do well. Forty-three k. Uh, yeah, people could do crazy damage. Causing all okay. Well, is my most recent unit other than Don Hong's in Badrune? Well, it causes all enemies to have their action delayed and become inflicted with slow. It deals extra damage to enemies inflicted with slow and increases damage received by all enemies. Oh, I love him. He's such a dad. <laughs> he has he has an idol that's really funny. I don't know if they're gonna show it, but it's literally like <laughs> he's. It's him, uh... Don't call him Zhang Li! Zhang Li looks like him! Well is older... Well, it was made first. Well is before Zhang Li. Ahem. Well is, uh, from Honkai Impact 3rd. So, excuse- There it is. <laughs> I fucking love him. Stay. All right, impairing this bitch. I love well. I love well. Okay, I don't want to explain it. I just want to fucking party. Move carefully. Let's begin. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no choice. 37k. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Leave it to me. No interesting conflict. <laughs> he he looks like a teacher, but he's an animator. At least that's what he used to do. Fighting is meaningless. Just in time. Just a little something. Okay. Treatment. Let's begin. Stand down. Time for a shot. You know nothing of the weight behind. 
find this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Uh, she has a she has a grenade launcher, not a minigun. Duh. Um, Jepard, I, I, I like Jepard. <laughs> he is the best shielder in the game so far, but a, a shielder is coming out in like a day, so he might lose his he like might lose his status. But I love this. His, as for context for that idol, uh, he has a sister who's a singer, and he like he can't sing. <laughs> Baby boy can't sing. I love them. Also, in a, in a day, their youngest sister is um is coming out as well. She's gonna be a healer. I love him. He's such a like a he's such. People compare him to as like a golden retriever. I yeah. He's he's adorable. I love him. So he's I'm a he's a great shield character. I'm with you. I'm with you. Quitcha. A blonde child. No, <laughs> that's what I said. He looks like he looks like a blonde. Uh, he literally looks like. Okay, this is my shipper in me. He looks like child and Lumine's like love child. <laughs> Also, his weapon is literally his his sister's uh, guitar case. Hope you're prepared. He literally is using his sister's guitar case. I love it. In the name of Landau, there's a cold. Pardons the wind. We shall never fall. He gives you crazy shield. So you will never die. Haven't learned your lesson. Arlon, uh, I haven't shown yet. He, uh, I love him. He, um, he decreases his HP to like get like to be stronger. So if we use a single attack, he'll. Is that all you got? Let me pay you back. Love him. The truth of life is sanctuary, is but a vision. I haven't used a part in a long time, actually. Too late to repent. I've just been this building a lot of other characters, I guess. That's no, you're fine, Alex. It's good to compare, like to at least like understand the game better. It's like, oh, he's like this character from this other game. Blade is incredible. Um, Young Ching is that how you say his name? I kind of forgot. Um, he's a DPS single target character. I have his a I have two of his Adolins, so that's C2. I don't use him! He's very good. I just ha I don't have him built, <laughs> but I have his C2. He doesn't need crit rate because his ultimate uh, increases his crit. So he just needs crit damage, basically. Um... He's very cute. He's very adorable. He is an ice DPS. And he enhances his attack and damage. He has a flute. I like him. I used to use him as well. But like, I don't, I don't I'm, mm, he wasn't built. <laughs> he is not built. Deals minor ice, deals ice damage. Yeah, his uh, ult increases his crit rate. That's why you don't really need a lot of crit on him. <laughs> 16k. <laughs> Alright, let's see what his... Let's see how much damage. Swords 
41 K. <laughs> I saw a YouTuber build March 7th to be like a crazy DPS character, and holy shit, it was crazy. So, how many of my moves can you block? Strike with Uh, Singcho? Yeah. Um, last but not least, we got Bailu, who is a really good healer. <laughs> Singcho can do a lot of damage. Bailu was my first 5-star, I believe. Immediately heals allies who have been dealt a killing blow, which is probably the best part of her kit. Provides a healing mark that immediately restores HP when allies take damage. And she is a Vidyatara, which is like a dragon. So she's a, you know. I don't know why she's a child. <laughs> but, um, she's very adorable. She's very small. <laughs> she has a smirk uh, when she uh, does her ult, and it's very cute. But yeah, her uh, skill is restores HP for a single ally who you target and then randomly heals other characters. And sometimes she doesn't heal characters that don't- <laughs> she heals characters that don't have damage. So we're just gonna single attack. Hook is a destruction fire. Um, she's very good, I just don't have her built. <laughs> You're about to die, bro. The of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Um, I guess I'll heal. Um, in... Time to show you. I don't know. Anyway, look at her smirk. It's kind of hard to see because of her really pale skin. <laughs> she's awesome. I like that because you would you would assume she's a water character, but there's no water type. So I think it's funny that she's electric because she literally like her hands are literally like used as a defibrillator when she like uh, heals you if you're dead. I think it's funny. I'd like to think that's why I'd like to think that's why she's so electric. Wait, when does when does Dong Hung's two days? Okay, he's got two days actually. Um, is it costly? Uh, it really just does artif artifacts are like the worst. Um, like who am I building right now? Dong Hung's Vidyard or uh, version. So it's. It's this guy, but in his other form. <laughs> um, I need to build him. And so traces are like your talents. And so I I need to I need to get this. I also want to get him better artifacts, which is hard. 
<laughs> yeah. Kafka isn't terrible, but I want her her to be I want her to be better. Same with Blady. Uh, another really good healer is Locha. Love him, he's very beautiful. I'm gonna show you. I have a friend who has uh Imbibitor Lunes. Like, he is built and it is insane. I'm going to do that in a second, but I gotta level up reward. Thank you. Level 68. Oh, you're here. Hello. Since assuming the role of Helm Master, it's rare that I have the chance to gaze upon the stars like this. It should be a view I tire of seeing, but it always leaves me in awe. The heavens really are boundless. Thank you. I like it. It's a shame that the stars no longer belong to me. Perhaps one day I shall feel their embrace once again. I will. Thank you for your invitation. I can't help but say that after arriving on the express, I'm a little envious of your way of life. You are able to enjoy the vastness of the universe and with reliable companions by your side. I hope you all cherish one another. Hello, Bailu. <laughs> now that I've made it this far, the Alchemy Commission and the Sita Divine Force you are tiny, have I cannot. no chance of catching me. Uh, uh, Alchemy Commission? It's you. <sighs> You're trying to scare me to death? It was you who invited me. Why you gotta scare me like that? Honestly. Hey! You tell me when the express is departing. The conductor? You mean that cuddly looking creature, right? The one that's shorter than me if you don't have the hat. <sighs> Judging by how bored they look, my guess is you won't be leaving anytime soon. I don't want to give the Alchemy Commission time to discover my itinerary. Now that I think of it, the express really would make a good secret base. Anyway, thanks for the invitation. <laughs> I really like it here. <laughs> they better be. Good question. <laughs> they won't be coming back. Um. The High Elder. <laughs> Bailu is the High Elder of the Vidyatara, who is also known as the Healer Lady on the Luafu. She uses her technique, a uh, unique medical science and the medical treatment that can only be provided by Vudiara Dragon Race to save lives. So, <laughs> she... Um... I think... I have no idea, man. I... Um... No, I know it is! I think she's cute, though. I don't hate it. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna, like, whatever, you know? Also, hello, yay yay. Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall? The Forgotten Hall, that's what it's called. This is basically the Abyss. And this ends in four hours, and I am not doing it. This shit's hard. <laughs> You guys want to see some crazy damage before we do story stuff? <laughs> Alex! Yes! <laughs> Shut up! Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, wanna see some crazy ass damage? Oh wait, wrong character. There. Try 
trying to find Panda. There it is. Panda has a crazy build. 75169 has this gay ass, suspicious looking ass art of him. And Idol in one. This motherfucker is cracked. I didn't get to like fully use it. It's fine. Can I have fun this time? Time for a bug. <laughs> to get uh, some shit, no shit. I wasn't fast enough. I wanted the to make a magic area to leave this not fire. It's fine. That needs up. This is double speed. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> You are 
are like a sliver away. Stop there, and then we're gonna do story stuff, and then you get that shit you don't. Take a photo? Yes, please. Okay, story time. Ah, uh, I don't think so. For me, I can care less. It's getting late. Where to now? Would you like me to relay your message? Uh, seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? It's not a mission. The Stellaron Crisis. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion. That's alright, Alex. Good night. Not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Law Fu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. It's just that, having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me, so that I can reacquaint myself with the finer details. So, where should we begin? It appears that Fantilia was the mastermind behind it all. The Sienjo warred with the Antimatter Legion in the past, and ever since we have kept a watchful eye on their movements. Few could have foreseen the insidious tactics employed in the execution of their assaults. The Lord Ravager slithered in unnoticed, clandestinely plotting and machinating, and surreptitiously bestowed a Stellaron upon the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. This heinous act instigated an uprising aimed at luring the Lawfu into a perilous trap of self-destruction. The present danger posed by the Legion clearly demands a re-evaluation. We should proceed cautiously. When the Ambrosial Arbor was severed by the Rainbow Arbiter thousands of years ago, the abundance became a taboo. Those within the Alchemy Commission, the original masters of the so-called Way of Immortality, were ruined at a stroke. The Commission became a shadow of its former self. Presumably, from that moment on, the seeds of discord for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus had already been planted. Some of them were willing to work with the enemy, Acquiring a Stellaron from the Antimatter Legion to try and revive the Abundance. Hmm. They succeeded all right. But why would Fantilia's objective to be to realize their wishes? Those traitors gained nothing. They betrayed the Sienjo only to become sacrificial offerings in the Lord Ravager's grand scheme. The Stellaron Hunters. We know just as little. But in the Matrix of Prescience, I saw a prophecy that Kafka received from Destiny's Slave. Elio foresaw all manner of possibilities for the Lawfu. 
based on what Kafka knows, and despite everything being under the control of Elio, that prophecy is indeed the most beneficial future for the Law Fu. The Stellaron Hunters walked right into our trap, and even gifted allies, in the form of yourselves, to the Sian Zhou. That might sound self-interested, but I hope the feeling is mutual. Now that the future has come true, the Sian Zhou has discovered the Legion's intentions, and with everyone's help, has imposed a crushing defeat on Fantilia. That we may, but as logical as things might seem, there are still many details about which we are uncertain. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the Sian Zhou? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. I'm submitting my report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report, but for the sake of Jing Yuan, anything related to Sian Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. I was about to make the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be poring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. <laughs> oh boy! How was it? <laughs> Fun game. I actually started re-downloading it. Um, download queued. Fair. Hey, I mean, I I wanted you to go fishing, so it all worked out. Taylor still wants me to get that damn cat, and I'm just like... Like, <laughs> I, I don't want- I don't want poor cats. <laughs> but I feel bad, I don't want to like... No. I can't have the cat. But she was like, my friend's gonna go, um... Get it- or get it from the dormitory tomorrow. And... She was like, I don't know. She was like, I don't know if she can keep it because her boyfriend said they don't, they shouldn't have any more pets. I'm like, well, what the fuck do you think? <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> That's a whole thing I have to wait for tomorrow. Oh yeah, how does the how does the fishing work? Is it like Stardew Valley hard or Animal Crossing like easy? I don't know. How's the fish? It's like Pokemon. Ah. Oh. Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around. And I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight generals are all such a hassle. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Oh, if you pass through Starstiff Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukon. It was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took form, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. The Cloud Knights were only able to find her fan. 
She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia. Or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. Now that bitch dead. I'm already prepared for the worst. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission and the Cassiter may be a bleak one. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her Foxy and Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the so events slow. which took place. And I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. I understand. Leave it with us. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Now, let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. I mean, it's pretty much like a visual novel with some of this shit. So, I mean, what can you do? Did my game crash? Oh. Okay, no, it's fine. Wait. Okay, cool. Things have come to a close for now. It's good that you came through unscathed. The Master Diviner asked us to pass on this item of Ting Yun's. I'll go to the Palace of Astrum and meet with Yu Kong. If neither of you has anything urgent, it'd be best if you came too. Where's March? Oh, well, we had a lot of stumbles along the way, but we still managed to kick butt and save the Law Fu without breaking a sweat. Feels kind of surreal. Pause the download. My game crashed. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Welp. <laughs> Exquisite. That's what I'm thinking. What are you up to now? Think foods? Oh, that's awesome. What food? Oh, gotcha. Where's the Much more my speed. Oh, maybe I should close this quick. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, I saw that you had fucking Omegaverse in your damn stream thing. <laughs> You had that, and then you had, what was it? Something football related, I can't remember. CK <laughs> Yay! You're like... <laughs> Bit late, but nonetheless. They are here. I was taking a shower. How was your shower? Cold or hot? Bleh. Aw, oh, it doesn't work. Eh. This fucking... The lid should be big. The lid should be bigger. Akari? Who's Akari? Ugh! 
This is foul. <laughs> no, thank you. I like the cats more. That model is not for me. No, -uh. it's not. I don't. I don't. That's not the kind of energy. Hiyori? Isn't this one? This one looks 3D. Oh, it is not. But it is a child. But her hands. Okay, like she moves actually. A little wonky, but she moves. I, I don't. Anything but the dog is a crime. That is correct. It's yeah. It's it's the dog, and then these two are like a tier. It's either this one, which is still. I'm probably not gonna go back to it, and at least for a while. Got white cat. Also, also pretty good. This bitch, who is definitely more mainline looking for the dog. The dog. The dog is so much better. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I lost the VTube studio. I don't know where it went. Oh, my game's loading. That's what that is. She's sleeping on the heating pad, but the heating pad's off. The game's a bit. There it is. Um, we have to undownload <laughs> in here. Uh, how far did you get with near? Like you said, you fished a lot. Okay, I have to turn this bitch down again. I don't know where the game is audio is. Reach the fishing. I know that, but like. <laughs> you were really like playing that game for a while, so I don't know. Okay, I definitely. Jesus Christ. You're fishing ideally. Can I turn the game down? Oh, it is, it is going, it is, I have two fucking things open, never mind, I have two fucking hunk guys going on, that's why, there we go, Chabeta. Julio. Alright, what the fuck were you saying? Oh, well, we had a lot of stumbles along the way, but we still managed to. You don't sound very happy. It may seem like the Celeron hunters are controlling everything, but we create our own future. No matter how powerful they are, they can't make a future that doesn't exist come true. Since showing up, we've saved a lot of people and averted disaster for the whole Tian show. Who cares whether someone or something was directing it? But be happy. Actually, I was wondering if Divine or Fu could do me a favor. The Matrix of Prescience has amazing powers and can iterate and reiterate Kafka's past. So it got me thinking, if I turned the Matrix on me, could it calculate my past? <laughs> I think the story's way better. When you're free, let's head over to the Divination Commission. The best part of this game is no fucking Paimon. This game's so much better. Plan for the future, I just got some opinions. Here's hoping the Matrix is after. Well, bitch left. Girly left. Plan for the future. How am I gonna break this to Madame Yukong? Here's hoping the mate.
Thank you for not crashing again. You will later, but not right now. See now. Another planet. Scooby. Scooby. Will of preservation. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's this bitch. I see. Please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. I will. Our condolences, Hellmaster. You have guests. I shall take my leave. No, I actually like you. Ah. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellawan Crisis. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Tinyun. Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. reads like a bad joke. Simply unimaginable. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise? What happened to the real Ting Yun? Uh, Madam Yukong. I'm sorry. I... Understand. It's just hard for me to accept. <sighs> Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron crisis has cost us too many comrades, brothers, sisters, children. I'd like to invite all of you as witnesses to this war. ...to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? A soul-soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms... ...a funeral. You see, for long-life species of the Xianzhou... ...death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara-struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long-life species stood by combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony. We honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs, and send them out to sail between the stars, to shine brightly among them. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yu. I know, I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, 
But she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts. But at present, I... <laughs> this is the... I'd like to ask you all to... I've instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place... Leave this to us. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukon. Once again, my thanks... did say that I like to gossip, and here I am rambling on proving you right again. If only you were here to cut me off. Oh, and it's you. For a moment, I thought she'd return. We are here to help sort out Miss King Yun's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul-soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please, take your time. Okay, let's see what there is. An Annie Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife, a bow, and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind of antique. That's cute. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Uh, me? <laughs> oh, Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. Placed correctly. Feng Shui and up his There's bitch. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yenming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yenming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yun. Seeing that she's kind of dead, can we have it instead since she never gave it to you? I'll take it. I, I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I. I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Probably because she has those giant ass ears. She listened. Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. A violin the that fuck? could shatter glass with its piercing shriek. Candy that made your leg hair grow is kind of funny. I want that. Because I could give it to someone. Oh, I don't know where else going with that. I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Mm -hmm. Huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. <coughs> I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. I want that. I want that. I want that fox thing. Fine. There's nothing else except a handful of seeds. 
It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Let me think. Where have I seen that name before? I can't cook to save my life. But one thing I'm sure of is that's a kitchen knife. I've never seen Miss Ting Yu use anything like that to defend to herself. Again. It must I, be another gift that she knife. never had time to send. There's an ad in the knife case. Spices Supreme. A room alley? Which store is that again? This bow. It's a good bow. It couldn't be meant for me. Could it? I'm sure you weren't the only archer she knew. Right, just kidding. I'm just trying to liven things up around here. And do you know where we're supposed to take these things? I would have given it to her though. Like, she's dead. Arm Alley. Hooray. Sleepless Earl. Was that the name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. I'm the owner here. The name's Ming Ming. You are. You are there. I fucking okay. Which tea would you like today? Oh, this is this is the tea Miss Ting Yu promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. Yeah, whatever, nerd. When I took over this tea house for my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia. Don't care. And it seems I just thought she. That bitch is dead. She went out cool though. We found this box of seeds among her belongings. I'm sure Miss Ting Yun would have liked for you to have it. Thank you, all of you. Based on her suggestion, I improved the whale tide spring, emerald hills, and Don Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet Wok Ting as tea. Okay. Thanks. It's getting late. Where to now? Soda. Oh shit, it's Ching Ch okay. Kiki. Oh, how's it going? Did you take some time off? See any more of the sand jokes? Isn't that the place on Aurum Alley over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? Not with your lazy ass. It's the main commercial street in the exalting sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Celeron crisis. Tourists fresh off the Starskip always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskip Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if whenever I'm tired of Celestial Day, they're slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Darn it, now that you've brought it up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. Oh yeah, is this in the area? Let me judge it. <laughs> Mix it hydrates. Oh shit, this is pretty. Ooh, I fuck with the music.
Who's you? Honored guests, welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? Uh, something from Miss Pinion for me? <laughs> oh, oh, what a precious person she is. We get it. She first. She was half too probable. <sighs> Miss Ping. Oh, I heard the trade court is open again for business. Um, she's dead. <laughs> Why don't this? This is real, right? <laughs> The monster you mentioned. Where did it? I wish I could take from? this knife and cut it. Okay. Forget it. Smell. Oh, boo. <laughs> it was our chili oil beef awful. I don't know yet. 